He said it hasn't ran in about 12 years. Uh, uh, if it burns down trying to get it started, then it burns down. <laughs> Last week, I get a phone call from a, a buddy of mine who said, hey man, I found a bulldozer in the woods doing some work here. The guy said that if we can get it running, you can have it. I was like, seems like something I wanted. So I came over here and checked it out. It's like a 1960s John Deere bulldozer. It's actually like a, what is it, a front end loader? It's a, uh, it's a tracked loader. He said, if we can get it running, we can have it. So. We're out here today. We're gonna try to get this bad boy running. They said it hasn't ran in about 12 years. Probably in like 2005 it was abandoned here and then they bought the house and it's been here ever since. Weeds grown over it. I don't know if it'll start. There's water in the motor. So we'll see what we can do with it today. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, so now what we're doing is we're getting ready to hook up this battery. But the proper thing to do is always put the red on the ground and then the black as the positive because apparently that's just how you wire things back in the 60s so uh, so obviously we're getting ready to hook up the battery we want to make sure which one goes where uh, they have a spray painted red one black and then they have a red one which you would typically be positive is uh, grounded out to the hydraulic drive here and uh, so this is gonna be our positive and this is gonna be our negative <laughs> All right, so we got the hood off. We see the fuel tank. We can see the breather. So we can either go one of two ways. We can spray some starter fluid down in the breather, or we can try to put some diesel in here. Um, you know, if we don't want to waste diesel, we can try some starter fluid first. But the downside of that is there is no key. So we're gonna have to do some uh, some hot wiring on this thing, try to give it a turnover. Perfect, let's get the diesel. Yeah. I'll get the diesel. Okay, you're up on that. Can we all not agree on one thing? Whoever invented these little gas can lids is a moron because they're worthless. Best thing you can do is just... They protect the environment, man. No, they don't. You gotta throw it away because it don't work. But then when you try to pour it in there, it's just gonna spill everywhere. Unless you're a professional. Yeah, like me. Let us know how you guys prefer to fill things up. With the stupid lids or like this? What? It's just, you got it. No, it's uh, uh, so one other thing that we're worried about, I don't think we showed this on camera. Graham pulled a dipstick earlier. Well, the dipstick wasn't even seated all the way on there. It yeah. Out. It was half hanging out. He pulled it out. It was covered in water. There's no oil in it at all. I have no idea how long it's been like that. So we think there's water inside the motor. But we're gonna try to turn it over. I got some fresh oil too I can pour in there. I did bring some oil. So, what I'm doing now, Graham is trying to hotwire it. He got it to kind of click, click, click. The motor's locked up. I'm gonna pour some oil right here in the exhaust. Hopefully, if there's any water in it, it should be able to free it up a little bit. You gotta <laughs> pour it in the exhaust, dude. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it came out faster than what I thought. Here's the oil. This is what we were talking about. Like, see all the water on that? Wow. Okay. That's a lot of water. I'm not going to lie. Let me, hold on. Let me get a little bit more. Pour some oil down that. Look. Can you get some down in there? Yeah, I can get it in there. Like, it's full. I, it must have a lot of water in there. That's all right. Pour a little oil in there. In case. All right, so we're putting some oil in here now. Come on, baby, go in there. Okay. 
keep pouring some in there? Yeah, sure. let's pour it all in there. Here, go tap the tap the starter with that while I try to start it. So now what are we doing back here again? Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I don't know if this is 24 volt. I know some old equipment was 24, well, I guess most new equipment is 24 volt, isn't it? Yeah, it seems like it. So we're gonna check and see if it's 24 volt because it's like there's either not enough juice going to that starter to turn it over or um, uh, it's just bad. So we're gonna try to go to uh, 24 volt and see if we fry something. We're going to see. Are you nervous? No, I mean, we're going to melt the post on the battery terminals or we're going to melt something up here. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. All right. Let's see what's... I'll let you know what's going on back yeah, here. Something's hissing back there. Yeah. Uh, we're smoking back here too. Yeah? Yeah. Is that good or bad? Mm. I mean, it's not good. But it ain't bad. It's doing something I ain't done in 10 or 12 years. <laughs> RJ, uh, <laughs> I didn't know what to say. <laughs> we burned the woods down. Sorry, guys. Yeah. See, it's melting the terminal. Does that mean it's a 12 volt or 24 volt? Well, it, or is it bad terminals? No, it's probably not 24 volt. It's locked up. It, it is. The motor's locked, ain't it? I mean, it could just need to be broke free. That's why I was trying to bang the starter. <clears throat> um, is that starter still smoking up there? Um. A little bit, but it's not a... Uh... A little bit. A little bit. Well, what I'll do is we'll just make convert this back over to 12 volt. So we're going to go positive. To positive. Negative. Dumb question, team. Is there a way we can hand brake the motor for you? I don't think we have something big enough. And you can, you, I mean, you can try to turn the uh, the bolt and the crank over, but uh, you run the risk of snapping the bolt head off. So. Well, let's see if it needed that extra. Man, I think it like 24 volt better. Oh yeah, way better. Uh, I think this one might be a defeat. It's not doing anything. Grand Friday by hooking it up 24 volts. Man, it did something though. It did. Well, uh, I think this thing was in worse shape than, I mean, that bottom end's probably slap full of water. Crank's probably slap rusted. Yeah, when I came over here and looked at it, I just, I didn't want to mess up nothing. So I just kind of sat from over there and looked at it. I didn't come up here and look at all, all pull the disc stick and all that. I just said, yeah, we'll attempt to get it started. We'll see what happens. But I had no idea it was full of water. I've been sitting like that forever. Mm -hmm. It's been sitting like that since 1976. What? 
been like 12 years. It's been sitting like that for the last 12 years. <laughs> there you go. 2010 was when this babble was parked. But I always say, everything ran when it was parked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One time, I'm going for mine, you put it on mine.